I'm Gregory Brill. I'm an Alaskan commercial lodge owner. Please come visit me there. It's going to be the ultimate flying destination. Seaplane enthusiast, former jet guy, all in turbine lover. I started flying when I sold my business about six years ago and made it a full-time occupation because I needed something to occupy my mind. It totally occupied my mind and occupied my wallet and pretty much every aspect of my life. I've been through a lot of airplanes so far. I'm a huge enthusiast. I love to fly these. My mission is extremely varied. Short field is really important to me uh, because I have Alaskan properties. I have uh, properties in Wyoming. So I actually live in Alpine Air Park, which is kind of a uh, one of the older and more traditional uh, air parks in the United States in Wyoming. I'm kind of an airplane collector, but I don't collect airplanes that I don't use. I have a lot of very rural uh, short field missions. I have an Alaskan lodge that's very, very hard to get to in Iliamna. I have all kinds of stuff. I've been through a lot of airplanes, love them all, but I think I've kind of like finally settled on on turbines, and in particular the TBM, I'll talk about why. I've had a Honda jet. I've had a Cirrus SF-50 Vision jet. Used to have an SR22T, which I really liked. Today, I've got a Kodiak 100 on uh, amphibious floats. I've got a 206H on whipline amphibious floats. Got a couple of Sea Rays, and I might have a plane problem, to tell you the truth. But I'm a huge fan of this aircraft. This is my aircraft. A lot of other things are for commercial stuff. Jets are great for passengers, in my opinion. Not as good for pilots, particularly when they have very varied missions as I do. I have a lot of rural missions. I land in the middle of Alaska, you know, unimproved runways, like all kinds of things. Turbine is great. The TBM in particular is great. For me as a pilot, it has everything. It's kind of like the Venn diagram of everything you want to do in an aircraft. This airplane can do it. A TBM can do it. Everything from the first TBM there ever was, a 700A, all the way through a TBM 960. They're just great. Part of the reason they're great is you've got beta. Beta is an amazing thing. It lets you, lets you take your propeller and flip it backwards and throw the air out in front of you so you can slow down with your prop as opposed to just use it as a speed brake like you can in a piston or something like that. It's really cool. You can even go in reverse. So you can actually back out of a tight spot. Don't act like you haven't ever wanted to do that. I know I have. Very fast. You know, it trues, supposedly this would true at 330. Uh, I've never seen that. I've seen 323. But come on, 323 knots, true, that's great. You get anywhere, you could race any jet, race your friend in the biggest jet he or she's got, and um, they're only gonna beat you by half an hour. So my partner Brett and I, we actually train in turbines, which is kind of interesting, and, and what does that mean? Why would we train in this? Well, it has a lot to do with my own journey here. So I used to be a big enthusiast for jets, light jets anyway. The difficulty with jets when you're flying yourself is exorbitant expense between the engine programs and, and everything. It's extremely expensive. Also, jets tend to be very limited in their missions. Jets are good for passengers, in my opinion, the greatest. It's great for pilots when they're passengers too, but it's not as good in my opinion for you know the, the pilot, particularly single pilot jets. There's a whole bunch of them. My opinion, having been a single pilot jet driver, is maybe we really need to think about single pilot jets. And the reason is, and why I so prefer turbines, is you pretty much have the same speed and capability, but you can land a lot more uh, places. This, you know, you can land in very short fields, things like that. Jets need a lot of space, they need good weather, and most importantly, in a jet, you have to fly it constantly. My opinion, having flown jets, commercially, you know, light jets commercially on charter and also owning them, is that you've got to make sure that you fly this jet to proficiency. It's very hard and very expensive to fly a jet to proficiency. You don't have the time unless you're a commercial captain, but if you're just a GA guy or girl and you want to just fly jets, you know, you're always going to be in a situation where am I really good enough to be landing in this weather? I know it's legal, but geez, you know, and I've seen some friends get into some trouble with some jets, you know, thankfully not serious, but certainly damaged some expensive birds. So I kind of came to a conclusion that if I'm gonna fly alone and you're gonna fly alone, but you wanna fly at jet speed, that's really key. There comes a point in the piston universe where it's like, I can't take it anymore. I can't take two, three days, you know, to get, you know, to all of these missions. Um, it gets really tiring and it gets to you eventually. Really fun for short stuff, but hard for long stuff. So I was like, okay, what's as fast as a jet? But what is more versatile and can land in more places? What has a relatively low cost of operation closer to what I'm used to 
with pistons and what doesn't have an exorbitant amount of programs, you know, things you have to pay into for every hour? And the answer is uh, a TBM. So we train in TBMs because I think that as a general aviation pilot predominantly and people coming up from pistons, turbines have some specific and unique characteristics that obviously you have to master. They don't require a type rating. You know, I think it's below nine seats. Um, so this is a 330 knot aircraft, theoretically, that does not require a type rating. Think about it, carry, you know, six people in this. I can be fully fueled and take off with six people. I have the useful load for that. It's just a massive carry, it's massively quickly, but your private pilot license, you know, that you got, you know, on the 172 or whatever, you could hop into this and legally fly it, all right? Think about it, you, know, you probably shouldn't. And your insurance company wouldn't let you. So what we do is uh, we can sign you off for the insurance so that you actually can be trained in the aircraft and insurance is confident that you're a competent enough pilot. So we mentor people, we make sure that um, you're, you're good at short field because you're gonna have a plane that's really capable. That means you as a pilot have to become really capable too. You have to learn how to use your beta. You have to learn to deal with a much faster aircraft and that's what we like to teach. Mm -hmm.